Hi, this is Gustav, the developer of Tubitooth. Welcome to our channel. This video I want to share with you a little glimpse of a new feature I have been working on the latest weeks, the raster mode. The feature is still under development, but a first version of it will be available for the customers of our subscription plan in the next release. The first thing you will notice in the interface is that there are two new options in the modes combo box. The raster static background mode and the raster dynamic background mode. Both options provide a large set of raster brushes that will allow you to create a new textures and interesting effects for the backgrounds of your projects. Let's play around with the collection of raster brushes. There are so many that I have to confess that I still keep discovering new styles and shapes. Additionally, the raster mode will include a tool requested by users for a long time ago, the eraser. Of course, this tool will be available only from this mode. Now, let's take a look at a basic demo to show you the potential of the raster mode.
Something really interesting about this new feature is that you will be able to mix vector backgrounds with raster backgrounds. For example, in this exercise I used the vector static background to include an SVG object as part of the scene. Pay attention to the flying saucer and compare its texture with the other elements around it. As you will notice, the contrast between vector objects and raster areas is just awesome. I want you to know that I will keep posting new advances of these features often. Ok, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.